When your child has a serious heart problem, a ventricular assist device, or VAD, may be needed. Seattle Children's has several life-saving options. If, if I were looking for a place uh, for advanced heart care, in particular for VADs or transplants, I would be looking for an institution that has a wide breadth of experience and devices. This is a centrifugal pump that we use to support patients short term. The way this works is the blood is taken from the patient through here and propelled out this direction. And by using this pump, we can support either half of the heart or the entire heart. And we use this pump to take care of someone who has acute heart failure and in a patient who we think the heart function will recover within a few days or weeks. A child on this short-term solution needs to remain hospitalized. The correct VAD depends on a child's condition, age, and size. This is the HeartMate 2. The first version of this was about the size of a dinner plate. Now they've been reduced to this size. This is an axial flow pump, which means the blood is brought into the pump this way from the bottom of the heart and then propelled out this direction to the aorta. The HeartMate 2 is implanted into the chest and allows a patient to be mobile, even leave the hospital. These patients were able to play outside, take in a ball game or concert while on the device. We, we use this pump if we think a patient's heart function is going to be bad for a long time, or if we think a patient will require transplantation. Unlike other devices that support only part of the heart, the Syncardia Total Artificial Heart can be used to do the work of both sides, like the HeartMate 2, it's used in adolescents and adults and is implanted inside the chest, allowing a patient to be mobile and leave the hospital. And you want to have sort of a menu of therapies from which you can choose the right device. There are lots of centers that will have maybe one or two available, and so you have to kind of conform the child to the device. And what we'd rather do is have the right device for the right kid in the right size and the right time. Um, and we do, we have that here. We have a, a, a huge breadth of different devices from uh, tried and true, ones that have been around for several years, to the most experimental. The hardware VAD is smaller than other pumps. It's portable, easy to use, and also allows a patient to be mobile and leave the hospital. Heartware can be used on patients with very unusual heart anatomy, as well as those with more normal anatomy. This is the Berlin Heart. This is a pneumatic device, and the way this works is uh, there are two chambers of here. One has air and one has blood, and a puff of air is put into this chamber which draws blood into the device and then pushes it back out of the device. What's great about this device is that it comes in multiple sizes, so we can support very small patients with devices like this one, and there are larger ones available to support patients up to the size of an adult. The Berlin Heart is not totally implanted inside the body and requires a patient to remain hospitalized while being supported by the device. Having many VAD options is important, but so is having an experienced team to determine which device is best for each child's unique situation. It, it is both the physical devices and the expertise, because you really have to know and have experienced um, the, the highs and the lows of device design to know what is, which one is appropriate when. And you know, our, uh, our faculty here um, and the support staff are some of the people who designed some of the devices and really helped with the initial trials. And so we know, uh, we have a real familiarity with um, the, uh, the pitfalls and the, and the challenges as well as the, uh, the real successes in certain arenas. Beyond the cardiologists and surgeons, Move your head, baby doll. Seattle Children's also has a highly skilled and specialized team, trained and experienced in caring for children on ventricular assist devices. So this is an example of an ECMO circuit. Essentially the way this works is the blood is taken from a large vein, usually in the neck. It goes to the pump and then the oxygenator and then it's delivered back to the patient. So by using this we can support the heart, or the heart and the lungs. ECMO is almost always used short term and patients must remain in the hospital. Now patients who require this are very, very sick and they must stay in the ICU until the lungs recover. Now, Children's offers not only the breadth of 
choices of support if we need it and the expertise of the surgeons and cardiologists and intensivists and nurses uh, to care for their children. Um, but we can care for the kids over their whole lifetime. We have the ability and the expertise um, to care for newborns and infants and children and adolescents. And we even have a specialty um, group who um, helps with transition from adolescence into adulthood, which is a very important part in particular of heart failure. Whether a child's heart just needs a rest while it heals or major support while awaiting a transplant, the Seattle Children's Team has the experience, expertise, and a variety of VADs to help the sickest of children get well again.